Having witnessed the advantages of electrification in the automotive world, the aviation industry has quickly jumped on board and started looking into ways of integrating batteries and electric motors into aircraft designs. After all, what better way to cut not only emissions, but also fuel consumption and cost? Several projects are presently ongoing in this field, but so far we haven't seen any tangible results. But we soon will, now that the European Union Aviation Safety Agency has broken the mold and awarded, for the first time in the history of the world, the proper certification for an electric motor for aircraft. The motor is called Engineus 100, and it has been in the works over at French aerospace company Safran for the past four years. It's a piece of technology that should serve the needs of aircraft ranging from personal transporters to medium-sized commercial planes either by completely electrifying their powertrains, or by becoming part of some sort of hybrid system. The Engineus 100 comes with built-in power and control electronics, thus making it suitable for use in passengers' aircraft that can carry as many as four people, or even in larger one that can fly 19 people on a regional trip. Why, it could also be included in the propulsion system of commercial aircraft that can move up to 150 passengers. The air-cooled motor, light and compact as to be easily integrated into existing designs, can generate a maximum power of 168 horsepower. That may not seem that impressive, but after into account its weight, the number translates into a weight-to-power ratio of 5 kilowatts per kilogram. As said, Safran has been working on the motor for years, but it wasn't the only one involved in this. The ESA got knee-deep into the testing of the engine as well, over 1,500 hours of certification tests were performed, but also 100 hours of actual flight, because it too had to learn what airworthiness rules the tech must follow for it to be certified. Now that it finally got the certification it was after, Safran announced that it will start producing the Engineus 100 next year. Two facilities, one in Yor, France, and the other in Pitstone, UK, will be tasked with making the motors, and they should roll out a combined 1,000 electric motors each year. There seems to be enough interest for the motor from industry players to justify the production plans, as a number of players, know the giants of the industry though, have already expressed interest in using the Safran motor, or Aero, by Aerospace, CAE, Diamond Aircraft, Electra, TCAB Tech, and Voltero. It's not exactly clear when the first aircraft powered by the Engineus will take to the sky or what plane that will be, but Safran believes it will happen pretty soon.